help. NFL Network's Jane Slater recently revealed that she caught her ex-boyfriend cheating using her Fitbit. So that's the fitness tracking watch. Uh, he was away. She saw on his profile that his heart rate was spiking in the middle of the night. She joked about it on Twitter, saying, spoiler alert, he was not enrolled in an Orange Theory workout class at 4 a.m. So you understand what was happening? Right. It took me like six times. <laughs> so it's 4 a.m., he's not at the gym, but his heart rate was spiking at 4 a.m. <laughs> so it begs the question, would you use technology to spy on your partner? Do you want to know if they're cheating and would you use it? This has gotten into divorce matters. People are now trying to use um, this technology to prove that, you know, a significant other wasn't where they were supposed to be at that time. So I get the question. I don't think I would do it. I didn't say I didn't know. I don't think. Who would use it? Oh, oh, oh you, no, oh, you I wait. Oh, would you, get up anyway. You're just moving your hand. Oh, well. Okay, hey. so what's your name? <laughs> My name is Robin. I'm from Texas. Hey, Texas. Yes. Would you, you, so you would not use it? No, I would not use it. I wouldn't need a GPS because as a woman, I have a woman intuition. I go by that. And any woman that believes that and trusts it, you will already know. We have our own GPS built inside of us. I was looking at <laughs> Okay, I was looking, I'm like, where is she pointing that the GPS is located? In your tummy. Okay, God bless. Yeah. <laughs> All right, who thinks it's a... You, uh, go, stand up. What's your name? Christine. Christine, where are you from? I'm from Long Island. Long Island. Would you use it? No, I wouldn't use it because that would say if you're going to use a tracking device, that means the relationship was broke down. There's no trust. Oh. And then you might end up hurting yourself more. Okay, that's interesting. So you might end up... What you don't know will hurt you. That's if right. you find it out. That's right. Okay, I, I'm a snoop, though. I, uh, <laughs> I would just, I mean, 4 a.m., you were waving. Can, can I get you to stand up? Yeah, What's your I, name? I'm Jackie from Boston. Hey, How are Jackie you, from Boston. Would you use it? I think it's, that it's unhealthy to, to use a monitoring device on a regular basis. However, if the relationship is in jeopardy and I need definitive proof, I'm going to use any tool necessary. <laughs> Anything that's available to me, I'm going to use it. Are, are, you, are you single? Are you married? I'm divorced, and you it got are really divorced. nasty, and I could have used that if they had it available 12 years ago. <laughs> oh, okay, thank you very much. I love the honesty on this show. Beverly in Cyber Hall, you just went through a divorce, Beverly? Yes, I went through a divorce back in 2017, and um, there was no geo-tracking needed. Um, What's done in the dark will come to the light, and that's exactly what happened. But um, my view is that, no, I just wouldn't use it. I also believe it's a matter of trust. So, nope, I wouldn't use it. Okay, that's interesting. Well, we have a divorce attorney with us because everyone should know a good one, and we happen <laughs> to know one. Steve Mandel, Steve, stand on up here. Um, you were mentioned in an article uh, about this. Is this just like one or two people, or really is it a real trend here? It is definitely a real trend. I can't tell you how many clients have come into my office. Either they busted their spouse by using a geotracker, or they were busted. And a lot of times, they had the inkling, but they wanted it for confirmation to themselves to know that their spouse was really cheating on them. So is this more than looking at their Facebook account and who they're following? Who I mean, <laughs> true story. I have a friend, not me. We thought the guy was cheating, and we went on his Insta story, and we were, like, trying to figure out everybody mm. in the picture. Because then mm. we knew that one person knew that woman that he knew. We pieced it together, like Columbo. <laughs> <laughs> well, talking about Columbo, people have been cheating for years. Since people the day we started. Exactly. Well, not you and I, of course. <laughs> but... And also, people have been trying to catch their spouse yeah. cheating. It, so we used to hire people like Columbo, the private investigator in the, in the uh, rumpled raincoat with the telephoto lens to catch him. We don't have to do that anymore. Is the, it legal, though? Like, can you... It, is it admissible in a divorce court? Being a lawyer, what am I going to say? It depends. It depends because if it is your device, if it is your car that the person is driving, you could put a tracker on it. If it is your cell phone that is that is titled to you in your name, you can track them with it. You can, in most states, you cannot put a tracker on somebody else's device. Because, yes, you might get confirmation that they're cheating, and they will be in trouble with you, but you will be in trouble with the law, and you're going to be in a lot more trouble than your spouse.